here's what gets me excited. SEO keywords with low competition and high search volume. And what gets me even more excited is when I can do this without doing a ton of effort. I found a tool that is analyzing the SERP from Google to find easy to rank keywords. Let me introduce you to Low Fruits. I've been using Low Fruits for a couple of weeks now and I've already written some articles on some keywords that I found through Low Fruits. And just to give you a quick summary of how low fruits works is that you enter your seed keyword or your seed keyword within a topic. And then low fruits analyzes the entire search for that seed keyword. And then they find related searches, related keywords, questions also asked and what people are also looking for around that keyword. So you get an entire report of sometimes thousands of different keywords that you can then dive further into and analyze. Because the report you get to begin with is just super limited in the information. You get, of course, the keyword, then you get some sense of the search volume on the keyword, and then you can pull in the average word count. But if you want more data, then you need to use a credit on analyzing it. And I'll come back to that. Overall, then I found no fruits to be a little bit like keyword cheater. Keyword cheater is an autofill type of keyword suggestion tool where you will fill in your seed keyword or some type of keyword. And then Keyword Cheetah will then go to Google and then take all of the order suggestions from Google and write a list for you. And this list, it will continue to write until you stop it. But the Keyword Cheetah and Low Fruits, they have a difference. And the difference is that with Low Fruits, you get much more data because the Keyword Cheetah only gives you the keyword. I will leave a link to both Low Fruits and to Keyword Cheetah in the description so you can go and test it out yourself. There are so many great features within Low Fruits and I can't wait to share them with you. So far, one of my favorite features, because I have a lot of favorite features, is of course the reporting module. I like to start with questions and then find questions that AI can't just answer directly. So it's questions where I need to use my own experience to answer this question. And those articles are also often the most easy articles to rank. And they're also so easy to write because you need to focus on one question and then just make sure that you cover the question from all angles. Another thing that I really like with the reports is the way that it's categorized into tags. So instead of just having a keyword where you have the keyword itself and that's what you're searching for, then each keyword has a category. So for instance, if you're writing about WordPress, then WordPress would be a category for that specific keyword. And that makes it so much easier, at least for me when I was using Lowfruit, to find the right keywords within the right niche that I was searching for. When I have found a question that I want to write for, what I like to do is to analyze the SERP even further. So you, what you can do is that you can click on this little icon next to the search phrase that you're focused on. And then what I will recommend you to do is to look at the domain authority for those top 10 on that specific search phrase. Because you get the domain rating, you get word count that each has written, and then you, of course you can see who are ranking for this specific keyword. If you want to take it a step deeper, then you can also click on the search phrase itself, and then you'll get the featured snippet, which is a great idea, especially for me when I want to win the featured snippet, because I can use it as inspiration and what I know that I can improve and then hopefully win the featured snippet. So overall, I really like the depth of this analysis for each individual keyword. But there is one catch, and that is that running the report itself doesn't cost you anything. You can be on the free plan and run as many reports you want, but you just get a list of keywords. You don't know what keyword is easy to rank for and what keyword you should focus on first. In order to obtain this information, you need to use a credit. And on the free plan, you have a very limited amount of credits, but you can always buy either a credit package or you can sign up for a subscription plan. I have used a subscription plan while I have been testing low fruit, so I have 3000 credits right now. And every time you analyze one keyword, you spend one credit. So if you analyze 100 keywords, you spend 100 credits. Sometimes low fruits does go a step deeper and then analyze more keywords for you if they are closely related. So that's a little bonus that I really like when I'm using low fruits, but it's just the depth of the analysis is so impressive when you start to analyze all of the keywords. 
I did find sometimes that it couldn't find information on the keyword and it still did cost me a credit. So that's definitely some imbalance in the information that I get based on the credit that I give. So hopefully that will be changed or we'll just get the information that we need. But I know that they can't find information on all keywords either if no one is really targeting that keyword or if there's just not enough data in the SERP on that specific keyword. But when I have generated my report, I also really like to use the filtering options. And here you don't have filtering options just focused on specific things like search volume or something like word count. You have much more. You can filter on topics, you can filter on domain rating and so much more. You have so many filter options and I really like this because this means that I can create a report that is super broad and then I can use the filter options to narrow down to the keywords that I want to focus on and then I can analyze that portion of the keywords. It just makes so much sense to do it like this instead of doing it the other way where you have to try and narrow your search in and then use keyword filtering such as search volume or competition and those two they are great to use but they don't give the full picture so again this is definitely a feature that i really like within slow fruits another feature within low fruits that i'm using a lot is the way it's showing the serve in a brief overview so what you always want to look for is basically low fruits own logo in green and the more times it's represented the more times there is a domain with a low domain rating. So if you see a keyword that has 10 of the green logos from Low Fruits, then start pursuing that keywords immediately because that's a huge opportunity for you. It's basically a way for Low Fruits to show you content gaps of where you can put your content and hopefully rank in top 10 within a very short period of time or maybe even beat the entire top 10 of course, it depends on a lot of factors such as backlinks, your domain rating and so much more. But you really want to target those where the domain rating is low. And this you can also see in the view before where you see the entire serve for the specific keyword. And for me, this just speeds up my process so much because instead of I have to click on each individual keyword, I have the overview in the table. So it's very fast for me to pick out the keywords I want to focus on add them to a list and then just target them one by one. That's a really nice feature. But that's just one way of using the report module. There are multiple ways. You can import a list and then run a report on your own keywords, but you can also start with a competitor. And what Low Fruits has managed to do is build an entire library of domains with a low domain rating. So this means you can go into the library of domains you can search for your seed keyword and then you get a long list of domains writing about your seed keyword and then you can pick out the domains that you want to target or analyze and then run a report on those domains and then low fruits will pull all the keywords that they know that these domains are ranking for into a report and now you have a report containing keywords from domains with a low domain rating that you can target right away and it's so important to remember the difference here because instead of just having keywords that are focused on your seed keyword, then you have already narrowed it further down. So you only have keywords from low domain rating domains. So I think this is just in such an innovative way of doing the keyword research because there is always a way to do the competitor research module where you enter a specific domain and then you get all of the keywords they are ranking for. But it's so interesting that they have made a library containing only low domain rating domains and that brings even more value. I have tested out this version as well and it gave me even more keyword ideas that I could write content for. So it's definitely useful. The last method of finding keywords again through the reports is through the keyword idea module. So here you can use an asterisk for example. So this means that I tested it with WordPress plugins. So I wrote best WordPress plugins asterisk because then it will use order suggest just like keyword cheater that I mentioned in the beginning and it will find a ton of keyword ideas that I can focus on and it will use order suggest on Google and just fill in all of the keywords that are remotely close to what it is that I'm looking for. And here you get so many great keyword ideas. I got a lot but the thing is that you only get the search phrase, the CBC and some search volume. You don't get how difficult it is to rank. For this, you need to use a credit. 
So I wish that they just gave me some sense or some idea of how difficult it is to rank without I had to use a credit. But of course, that's also their way of earning money on their products. So of course, it makes sense. And when you run the report on your competitors, in the overview of all your reports, you also get an idea of the opportunity. The higher the opportunity score, the more keywords there are for you to focus on and for you to target. And I really like this because you get an overview of the specific list and the specific reports that you want to focus on in the overview. You don't have to click in and individually click on each keyword. So of course, I always start with the report with the highest opportunity score and then I work my way down. And overall, this is just what I really like with low fruits, how good they are at using so many different parameters to show me what I should focus on and where the opportunity lay. And the last module I just want to mention briefly is their list module. This is made in a way that makes it perfect for topical authority because you can make a list for each individual topic and then just fill your keywords into them. And then slowly you can just tick off whenever it is that you have written for that specific keyword and then you know when you've reached topical authority. A nice add-on here would be if they added some type of a visualization module where I could draw the entire topic map so I could see both in front of me with my eyes visually, what is it that I need to cover? How do I interlink all of these posts? But I also understand why they haven't done this yet as they have focused fully on keyword research. And I really like this because this is something I have asked for in other keyword research tools. Low Fruits, they're not focusing on any content modules or anything similar to that. They just focus on keyword research and it also shows through their product. It is so good and it's definitely the best keyword research tool that I have used. They have so much data and so much in-depth analysis and they just utilize the data so well and they give me the overview everywhere. They're good at explaining how to use the product so you get so much value for your money. And even the fact that you can use the reports entirely free is very impressive. If you decide to try out low fruits, which I would really recommend you do, then there are three ways of doing it. Either you can use the free plan and then manually do your keyword research with the report you get. You can also just only buy credits. So you can buy these credit packages of 2,500 credits and all the way up to how many credits you need. And then you can use the credits on analyzing your keywords or you can use their new subscription where you also get access to the competitor research module where you get access to this library of low domain rating domains where you can search for your seed keyword and then via all of these domains get keywords that are easy to rank for. So it depends on how you want to use it. Just using the credits, you also get a ton of value using low fruits. And when I look at their public roadmap, then it's again clear to see that they have a vision and they're fully focused on keyword research. They're working on adding some more manageable modules so it's easier to use your lists and manage them so you can set status on each keyword whether you have targeted or not. So I really like that they're focused on this and they're just creating the best possible keyword research module. So if you're a content creator, I will really recommend you taking a look at Low Fruits. It's super easy to use and you get so much value. I want to give Low Fruits four and a half stars. It's really a top product. I just wish that they added some type of visualization for the list so it's easier to imagine your topic map. And then if they could add some more manageable features in the list that they are already working at, then it will be a five-star product without a doubt. And last week, I mentioned a way that I'm doing keyword research, which is a way that not even Low Fruits is supporting. And you can watch that video right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.